The Department of Education District Action Plan did not receive the necessary votes needed at the special Guam Education Board meeting, as the lone opposition wanted more clarification on the state's strategic plan. DOE Superintendent John Fernandez. It's a plan that uh, looks out over the next five to six years um, and sets out the, the main goals, objectives, and strategies of the department to improve public education. So it's pretty important that we, that we get this document um, and, and strategy approved. Fernandez says the strategic plan would help them access federal funds, but more importantly, it will help the department understand what direction they are heading so that all activities are coordinated. But uh, this was our discussion and we had hoped the board would approve it. Um, we had about five members of the board, which is our, our um, in order to make quorum, we have to have five members. Uh, they were there, uh, so were all of our administrators to uh, get an update of where things stood. Fernandez says there have been several community meetings and work sessions to go over the details and the strategies. So he was expecting that there would be final approval, but that did not happen. I think that we had a lot of questions that were, that uh, continue to, to arise. Uh, most of them dealing with uh, measuring the progress. Uh, what, how are we going to measure the progress along the, street, the strategic plan going forward? More specifically, what was the nature of the assessment framework and the new summative assessment, as well as the effectiveness of the strategies in implementing the Common Core standards? We dealt with a lot of those questions uh, after our presentation. Unfortunately, uh, Dr. Cruz, uh, our chairman, uh, continues to have questions that he feels were unanswered, um, and so we said we would take the extra time to uh, answer those questions uh, if they were uh, answer those final questions and allow the board to move forward at its next meeting. Because of this, the district action plan failed four to one. But Fernandez is hopeful that once all questions are answered, the lone opposer will come around. He adds that a work session will be scheduled to address the final questions. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovez.